Now, I had a good midday snooze. Still got a bit of time, so might as well get a couple of chores done. We'll make use of that singer we just got. Can you give me a hand, Jake? Yeah, mate. I haven't singed a pig for a while since I was out the Chathams, but yeah, excited about having some singed pork again. Yeah, so we're just basically taking the hair off for a start, and then if you've ever seen a scalded pig, the uh, skin will start to bubble and we can scrape it off. Sort of cleans up and takes all the dirty skin off, and yeah, you get a nice smoky flavour with the, with the pork after this too. Yeah, so being hot and dry in the summer here, we're, we're, we're doing this in the creek with uh, no scrub around. We've also got a fire extinguisher here just in case. Yeah, last thing we want is to set the farmer's place on light. Big fires in Blenheim here at the moment, so yeah, you do have to be safety conscious while you're doing these sort of things. Yeah, another bonus to singe is, is you leave the skin on. I mean, uh, when you skin them, often you uh, take quite a bit of the fat off at the same time, so with singeing you keep all all the fat that the pig has on it, so it makes for a real, really good roast or chops or whatever you're having. And it seals in the flavour and that real good too, eh? And keeps it moist. Yeah. Know? Yeah, another bonus is you get that crackling if you really want it. Some people love crackling on a roast of pork. Okay, first time using the singe, it's certainly a goodie. You can adjust the uh, the flame on it quite a bit, so. Yeah, we're not the singe off that majestic tash of yours. Yeah, turn, it, turn the torch around, you reckon? <laughs> it should be quicker than a shaver anyway. I think I'm going to stop skinning pigs now, that's so easy. Sort of then you don't get hairs in your roast. So I'm just knocking them off first. And then we'll do the bubble. Okay, so we've taken off most of the hair now. Now we just want to take off this layer of skin. So I'm just going to, going to hit it with a torch until it bubbles. And scrape it away. Yeah, a lot of people find wild pork quite dry, eh? But if you, if you leave the skin on like this, it leaves you with a nice moist roast. Oh, that's, that's the singeing done, so now we're just going to uh, yeah, chuck a bit of water over it and scrape it down so it's nice and clean for in the oven. So this just takes off a bit of that grime and a bit of the smoke, nice and clean. I mean some mates use a water blaster for this. That cleans them up really good, but yeah, of course we're up in the hill, we don't have a water blaster. We make do. Tail and hocks off now, in the head. There we have it, the finished product. Hopefully tonight we can get a good border, go with good eating pigs we've got.